Action. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. I heard you act and you're a musician as well. I am it. Pardon me. I see. I am it. No. I'm an act. I'm producing. <laughs> Moneygram sponsors the Nana Church Show. In such a way that we keep a lot of things to ourselves. We think that we can eat Thank you so much. I'll come back and have my share. show your number one chat show for the family a show that makes you feel so good you want to do something with your life today i have with me one of nollywood's thriving producer writer and director he's in the person of christian asheku welcome to the show christian wow thank you for having me Nana. i'm so excited to have you on set thank you very much um what have you been up to you've been flying nigeria london accra london what, what's up what's up well, one, been looking at getting them into the right places, and two, trying to push on one or two things. But I'm interested in the continent, South Africa and the European continent. So yes, mm -hmm. I'm pushing for one or two things at the moment. I mean, more movies to be made. More movies to be made. Yeah. And talking about movies, how many how many movies have you got under your belt? Well, I mean, that would be my fourth film. I had fantasy in the past. Then was this of generation, and now I'm in. And I'm working on two projects at the moment. And Talking about Amina, Amina is your buzzing baby at the moment. I fell in love with Amina at the premiere in Leicester Square last year. Why did you decide to make this movie? Yeah, like I said, Amina came from the simple fantasy of a man wanting to put the image of a black woman, a positive image of a black woman on the screen in the UK. But when I put my pen on paper, start to talk about negative things from teenage pregnancy and finally put it in mind in the mental home not very good Christian mm. Mm. so we know that well I know from watching the movie that it's a psychological thriller it's got to do with mental health and you had the opportunity also to to shoot the movie at St. Anne's um, home how did you get to, 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 to shoot the movie there? Well, for if you want to shoot a movie, mental health story, the most important thing is the location. So what I did at the beginning was to make sure I get the right location for it. Locally call on St. Anne's. They are looking for somewhere to reach the community as well. They have a big task in their hand. Because to be, un to be honest, nobody want to talk about mental health in this society. So they use it as an opportunity as well. They welcome me, gave me the place to make the film really grateful to them and they've been been part of the film they've been behind the film throughout they were at the premiere they're still supporting mm. it now it's really good um it tells a story of a woman as you said from you know teenage pregnancy abusive parents and she ends up in a mental home was it something that was coming from your world you and I are African, so, or it, it, it's, you know, because some, I know some directors, some writers, before they start to write, it's either experience or somebody else's experience or then, or just dreaming. How, how, how was yours? There are two things here. One, as a writer, uh, I was, I wanted to, as a filmmaker, I do want to address issues. For me, film is about talking to each other about ourselves. So with Amina, I wanted to raise the awareness, at least awareness of mental health in the society, which is really lacking. I don't know, we all must have had cases of mental health in our home, and well, it's hardly talked about. So I wanted to do that. So when I got to a stage where I had to put this woman in a mental home, that was the intention. But directing a psycho trailer, I use my personal experience, you know. When I lost my parents, there are things I don't want to remember. And when you try to put painful incidents, if you push it somewhere, there's a way there's a way it comes back and hurts you. And that is exactly how I try to play it as a director through the journey of Amina. There are things you don't want to address, 
been in the mental home to now start to remember them. That's why you have a kind of two-story in one. Mm -hmm. And hopefully if you face where you're running from, you can deal with it. That I'm not a psychiatrist, but yeah, as a filmmaker, that is the approach. And I'm, I was using my personal experience as well. You're using your personal experience. Mm -hmm. In the movie, you have all these actors from Ghana, Nigeria, British, and uh, Afro-Caribbean, you know. How did you get all these cast and these actors and actresses together? For me, that is the future of Nollywood. I said it again and again that um, uh, Nollywood would mean different things to different people. But any film made by black people anywhere in the world, for me, is a Nollywood film. And if we can all come under one umbrella, I think we'll have the biggest market in the world. So I, I picked on my guy, you, in UK here, who's with Johnson. He's from the Caribbean, he's British born. I, I don't know, I needed somebody really deep, the person of Motola to carry the story. I think she did justice to it. And of course, I like Von Vick, I've seen him in some films, and I wanted somebody like him to pipe up the story at the point. I got him. And then we got v, uh, Vincent Reagan also. And again, we're in the UK, I don't want to leave them out. There's this uh, AKA Lara Croft, mm. Alice in Cairo. So I, I bring her in to be the best friend to Omotola. And mm. it, all good. it all works well. It all works well. Mm. And why Omotola? There are other heavyweights out there, but why Omotola? Well, I, what can I say? It's a deep story. And I was looking for somebody who's really deep. Uh, for me, she, she's about one of the deepest actresses I've seen. And w sometimes I don't agree with her, but mm. if you tell that woman action on deep cases, mm. you end up clapping for her. I remember shooting some scenes in my own street here in London. When I say action, when she finishes, everybody just clapped. So that was that's the kind of person you get from Omotola. She's quite deep. She's quite deep. And that was what this story needed. Mm. Needed somebody who can bring it from inside. It's not. Just, it's a psycho thriller. Somebody mm. who's thinking really deep and bringing it out, and she's suppressing it. So those two things, I see it in her, and that's why I gave her the part. I know the other people that would have done it as well, but mm. hey, yeah. sometimes you gotta choose one, eh? Yes, you have to choose. Yeah. You have to choose one. Also, we see how um, she, she, you know, when she flashes back, how her parents, you know, abused her so much that does he really in our day and generation, our parents, you know, the way they talk to us. Um, or the way we talk to our kids as parents, do you think it built up to this sort of issue that she faced? I think the, both, the, both the parents and the and Amina in the story, they have a story to tell. Mm. It's a story of a dad who wants the best for the daughter, mm. but come back home pregnant. It's not pleasant. The question is, it has happened. How do you deal with it? And, you know, perhaps, it's, I wanted to raise awareness. How do you talk to a child? Shouting may not be the way out. Maybe, especially a female child, the sensitive. I'm sure the psychiatrist can tell more. You, uh, you, who can tell more. I'm not a psychiatrist. <laughs> I mean, well, I'm dreading yeah, to have uh, yeah. my daughter growing up now. I don't know how to really deal with her. If she comes to me and say that there's a guy on the way, I'll be nervous, you know. But that, that's, that's what happened. And if you if you made a mistake. You're driving her away, so maybe the best thing is to is to bring her closer, talk to her, and that is uh, that's one that's the beginning of the film. Yeah. I really wanted us to ask ourselves, which it's just for me, a film opens the bed. Mm. I don't know whether you agree with the parents or you agree with Amina. Mm. Do we are the wrong? Amina's parents were wrong. I mean, when that girl pregnant, it's not something any parents want to deal with. So that's that's it for me. It's just a debate. It's just a debate, but we see. Well, if you haven't watched the film Amina, um, it's a Masi movie because we see how you know the communication at home, and in in our generation now, that communication is it still there? You know, we used to have family time, breakfast time or lunch time with the family, but it looks like it's hard nowadays because parents are out working and kids are doing other things and. You know, there is not that oneness at home. Would you, would you say this addresses that issue? Yeah, if you see, what is parenthood anyway? It's really, it's a big responsibility. The Bible, if you agree with it at all, is, is you are God on earth for the mm. child. You know, God won't come down. Mm. So you, you, you play the role of that godly, godliness in the life of a child. And 
So meaning you have to be there all the time, be sensitive, understanding, and that is what it is. That is lacking, and you can blame the parents. It's difficult when you take look at the paying the bees in England. It's not that easy task. So this is this is what that's what our society is. This is what we're left with. Like I said, it's not an excuse uh, to to bully on your child like what the dad was doing. Uh, but again, uh, the dad is it's not a pleasant thing to get to go out and be pregnant. So these are the, the like I said, it's, it's two two difficult issues. And when she's pregnant, she's pregnant. How do you deal with it? That is the most important thing for me. She's pregnant. How do you, where do we start from there? Kick her out? That's, that's the biggest mistake. So in the movie, we see Amina, you know, after all that she had to go through, mental home, she recovers. Does it mean that there is hope for a mental health patient to recover? Yeah, the soundtrack of the film is titled I Hope. It's most important for people to talk about mental health. We can break down physically, so our mental, our mental being can break down. And it's not hereditary. I know sometimes it is hereditary. In my place, if you have mental health, nobody goes there to marry. You know, and this, this stigma needs to go away because there's hope. And not only there's hope, there's a cure. It, it can be addressed and it can be treated. 
You go, not talking about it, drive people into the show. So if I have mental health, I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to tell people about it. I think that's the biggest trouble we have. So if hopefully the services are there, the, in the UK we have a lot of opportunities there for people to go and talk about it. I think it's even talking about your mental health with your partner, with your family, is the beginning of, of this whole problem. Hopefully, I, my dream is for Amina to be a platform or to instigate that debate where we all can talk about our mental health. Wow, thank you so much, Christian, for coming on set. And uh, I know that um, this movie is really going to go places. Thank you for coming. Thank you. After the break, we have Dr. Funke Bafo, who is a clinical psychologist, joining us and telling us more about mental health. Stay tuned. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. I heard you act and you're a musician as well. I am it. Pardon me. I see it. I am it. I'm an act. I'm producing. Monogram sponsors the Nana Church Show. MoneyGram is here to help. That's why we offer fast and affordable money transfers around the world to bring you closer to the ones you love. MoneyGram, bringing you closer. Action. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. I heard you act and you're a musician as well. I am it. Pardon me. I see it. I am it. No. I'm an act. I'm producing. <laughs> MoneyGram sponsors the Nana Church Show. Welcome back. Joining me is one of the beautiful ladies I've ever, you know, I've met so many beautiful ladies, but I'm so, I'm so pleased and, and honored to have her on the Nana Church's show, Mrs. Funke Bwafo. You are a clinical and TV psychologist, an author, a mom. Yes. You contribute to other international stations. What else? Oh, it's in your accolade. That, I think that's thank enough. No, no, it's making my head get a little bit big. But yeah, thank you so what, much. That's what Nana, Nana does. <laughs> but, you know, as a clinical psychologist, you know, we, I've been earlier on, I was talking to Christian, who is the director and producer of Amina, a, a, a psychological thriller movie that is buzzing here in the UK and in um, Africa. And in the movie, we see how a young girl who's been, you know, abused, the, the abusive words at home uh, sort of affected her as she grew up and ended up in a mental home. So we're discussing, you know, mental issues and that is your your, your field. What do you think is happening in our, in our community as Africans and Caribbeans? Well, I think generally the concept of mental health is there's a major stigma, whether it's from Africa or in the UK. And my role as a clinical psychologist is I specialise in mental health. And when we think about mental health, it's just that you're mentally unwell, just like you're physically unwell, where you might have broken your leg, you're mentally unwell, things, you're not coping with life. And then you become depressed or you have personality issues. And there's a vast, there's, there's many symptoms that sort of constitute to someone having mental health problems. So how can you identify that somebody has got mental health? I think there's a lot of education that needs 
we all need to have especially in the communities but some of the early warning signs if you're not sleeping you're having sort of irregular sleep patterns your eating habits change i.e. you overeat too much or you just tend not to have any appetite you find that you're getting a little bit more distressed you're impatient your moods go up and down these are some of the warning signs and if you find that you're not able to cope then the first thing is to go and see your GP but what happens for many people is that they suffer in silence and some people can cope with having a minor breakdown or what we know as a nervous breakdown but other people cannot and before it gets to the problem where we have people in psychiatric wards if you see some early warning signs see your GP seek talking therapies and find ways to cope with your problems doctor you know when it comes to mental health does it affect more women than men or it's it's even what what do you have to say on that i think first and foremost we need to understand mental health and that there are different types of mental health so you have depression and studies show that generally women are more depressed than men but that's showing a slightly different prevalence now that men are sort of crease, increasing as well then you have schizophrenia and what schizophrenia is some people have psychotic episodes so they may hear voices or see things and that prevalence is higher in men and then you have bipolar disorder where someone's mood goes quite high and quite low and I'm, I'm making it sound very simplistic right. so it's not clear-cut to say women experience more mental health problems than men what we do know is up to one in four people can have a mental health problem right. and also one in 50 people can have a severe mental health problem. Now those statistics are extremely worrying, mm -hmm. considering particularly in our community where we have a lack of understanding of what mental health is. So if you've looked at the past, if you have a mental health problem, then you go and s see spiritual advisors or have prayers. Those things are fine, but we also have to have intervention. So more psychoeducation about what mental health is and how to treat it is very important. In, in the movie we see that, I mean, Amina, who is played by almost a lot more sexy um she goes through a lot you know and then ends up in the mental home but she was saying she was fine she was fine and then so how would you i just want you to take me through is right. it i know in our culture we say it's madness That's right. And I think it's because of not only our culture, it's what we know in society. When something is to do with mental health, you can't see it. When you have a physical problem, you can feel it because you're attuned to feeling it. Mm. Now with mental health, like I said earlier, some of the warning signs would be if you're, if you're not sleeping properly, if you're more stressed than you normally are, not just general stress of the children, but if you find yourself shouting, screaming, crying, you find yourself overeating or undereating, if you find yourself just thinking in a way that you can't get out of you find it difficult to get out of bed you find it you find that you're not motivated very early signs for schizophrenia you start to see things that you know are not there but you ignore these are signs that you mustn't ignore you either go and see someone like your GP or go and see talking therapies like a psychologist like myself but it's a case of us being more aware of it and that mental health is not about well unless I'm acutely unwell then I have a problem let's get there before that happens and look at read up about the early warning signs of mental health and there's nothing wrong with having a mental health problem but there's a lot wrong if you don't deal with the mental health problem wow there is a lot more if we don't deal with mental problems so um before you go where do we you said we should you can see your doctor you've told us the signs and but there is hope right there is hope i really if there's a message that I can get out today on your show, Nana, is that there is hope. Having a mental health problem doesn't mean that you're demonized, in my opinion. Doesn't mean that you're less than a person that doesn't have a mental problem. We're all here as human beings. We all have different experiences. Just like in the movie that you've been showcasing, that person's life was so traumatized from a young age. She had parents that didn't engage well with her, and that resulted in her breakdown. She had so many traumatic experiences. So why should you be blamed? Because you have a mental to health problem based on the traumatic experiences you've had what we need to learn is to help people just like you go to the GP mm. and help yourself with a headache you can also go and see a psychologist or a psychiatrist and get help with what's wrong in your mind thank you so much doctor for coming to share your wisdom with us it's been wonderful today on set having Christiana Sheku who is the writer director and producer of Amina. What a great movie. If you haven't seen it, you should go and see it. Thank you for watching the Nana Chechi Show. Make sure you tune in next time. Thank you.
such a way that and we keep a lot of things to ourselves. Just you know, things you that uh, we could eat. Thank you so much. I'll come back and have my share of clothes. Thank you. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye. Action. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. I heard you act and you're a musician as well. I am it. Pardon me. I see it. I am it. No. I'm an act. I'm producing. <laughs> MoneyGram sponsors the Nana Church Show.